burn this one. What seems to be happening this year is that all of the chicks are really well fed, they're healthy, they're, they're gaining weight rapidly and they're developing very rapidly. It's a barometer of what the state of the ocean is out there. If they're gaining weight rapidly and they're, they're developing you know, rapidly, it's an indication there's lots of food out there. There's lots of squid, there's lots of flying, flying fish, lots of round robin fish and such. That is the basis of the food chain around Bermuda. If these guys are doing well, it's an indication that the wahoo and the tuna and the mahi-mahi, the commercially viable fish, are also going to be doing well. And evidently there's quite a few of them around now. Uh, wahoo and uh, yellowfin tuna is, is quite available in restaurants and uh, stores now. And so they, it's like the canary in a coal mine. It's an indication um, of, you know, if the, how healthy the ocean is in Bermuda's area. Um, so that mean chick is not, uh, he's not trying to peck you? Or no, you can see, well, see. He's very calm. Now, normally, if you just take them out once to ban them, they are screaming memes. I mean, they'll, they'll regurgitate their food on you, they'll poop on you, they'll bite you, they'll scream like a stuck pig. This one I've been handling every two or three days since it was hatched. It's used to it. You see, it's totally calm. Yeah. It's interested. It's sort of, this is an interesting part of the day, yeah. just like being fed. Um, Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's Uncle, Uncle Jeremy. And you can see he's about um, half-fledged now. He's, he's about um, a month old, about four, four to five weeks now, more or less. They fledge at about uh, 68 days of age, so so about a, a two months and a week, more or less. So his it's about halfway there. And you can see the webbed feet he has. They're very short and they're not good for much else except for swimming. Uh, they, they can't really walk around on that, that large straight bill. And it's still got, you know, he was originally about the, the smaller than his head. That was the whole size of when he hatched. He was about 40 grams, 35 to 40 grams. And uh, we'll see how much he weighs right now. Well, he looks like, see the fluff here? He looks like that. Just a little fluff ball that was a, a bit smaller than his head right now. And his, his already grown to that. And he's gone up, yeah, this one was 38 grams the first time I weighed him. He was about three days old then. 38 grams, and now we'll see. We put him in this cloth bag. He can breathe through it. He can see through it, but it keeps him calm. He's used to this. He knows what it is. You always sort of keep uh, the back end pointed away. It's often they're so relaxed they'll just poop copiously all over you, and uh, it's supposed to be good luck. But uh, yeah, I, I must have a store of good luck that look for the next century more or less because I've been pooped on so often. Well, wow. <laughs> well, from uh, from 35 grams, he is now at 490. Let's see, 494. So minus the weight of the bag, that'll be 477 grams. Wow. So wow. weight 477 grams, because you have to subtract the weight of the bag, obviously. 